So can you tell me a little bit about this piece here? Yes, yeah, so this is one of our uh, pieces of cloth of gold uh, that we have in the collection. Uh, this piece was actually woven for the 1953 coronation, um, but we have uh, another piece over here as well. This piece is from the 1937 coronation. Yeah, they're very different colours. This one's a lot brighter and this one's kind of more um, refined in, in a way. So it's partly to do with the age of the pieces, um, but also there's a uh, different construction has gone into each of them. So it's not an exact science weaving with gold. Um, mm. The technique has sort of developed over time. There were lots of different trials and experiments of um, how to get the combination between the metal and the silk to work. Um, this piece also actually has a very bright, almost acidic yellow silk that's as a incredible. background. Yeah. Whereas the silk that's used in the earlier piece is slightly more, like you said, yoky. Yeah, this is sort of a lot more refined in a way. This is kind of brighter and it almost looks fake. You wouldn't yes. necessarily realise that it's made with real gold. It's very glitzy and glamorous, whereas that one looks a little bit more antique. And what is the, the purpose of, of, of cloth of gold? Why would you use such a precious metal in a fabric? As I mentioned, these pieces were produced for the coronation, so they're actually part of uh, the coronation garb, um, and they would have later been embroidered onto as well. Um, but essentially, it's just to demonstrate your wealth. Um, so it's it's putting your money on your clothes, really. 